you know, we've been really focused on this week as well as next week. It's a really difficult place to be as, as a group of players and, and staff. Like You've got to look one week ahead rather than two weeks ahead. So um, We went well though. We think we're glad with, with how we performed. Um, we're really good to see people like you know Grace Short making a debut. Um, some girls who've not had as much game time getting some game time. So it was, it's been a good day all round. Last year, that reference really was to last year when you lost to, to Huddersfield. You, you look to be a lot more switched on to today's game than, than 12 months. Yeah, I think we probably just maybe made too many changes last year when we went played against Huddersfield. We made too many changes and you know we got turned over and we wanted to get a result, but we also wanted players to be prepped and, and good to go. So yeah, it's good. Um, you got an injury scare with Lucy Murray. How is she? Um, she seems all right at the moment, um, but she'll see the doctor today, and then she'll be back in next week, and we'll, we'll go from there. So hopefully all is all is well, but we'll just have to wait and see. Amy Hardcastle looked to be struggling with a, a finger before she went off. Is she okay? No, no yeah, she's she fine. Yeah, it was just yeah. Yeah, it was just a case of we've got young Beth Mack on the bench, and um, it's good to see her back after she actually had a finger injury. So it was the first time that she's been back in contention. So to give her some game time and you know to, to rest players like Amy and, and uh, Hannah, the, the older players within our squad, so to get them off was the wise thing to do, not a forced decision. Do you know, do you know what your team will be for the cup final? Yeah, or are you some decisions still to make? Um, you know, you know there are thereabouts, but. Um, I'm sure that you're aware that we've had you know, players who have been coming through fitness tests, so it'll be a case of seeing how they go on probably Monday, Tuesday, and then make a call from there. Ruby and, and, uh, Ruby and Shona, how are they coming along? They're looking good, so hopefully they're the players that we see come back into our squad, but they are looking good, yeah. Um, on Grace, just how proud a moment is that for, for yourself as a coach, for her and, and also the club, you know, another one through, through the ranks? Yeah, it's a really proud day for her and her family. Um, it's a real proud day for Lee Drynos Foundation, for Lee Drynos at the club. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've worked with Grace at Coburn School, so you know, they'll be proud seeing her make that debut. She's been on the DICE programme with the RFL and, and the England Pathway. She's been part of our academy at 16s and 19s. She plays for Leeds City Development Academy as well, where I coach. So, um, you know, we said before the game when we give her a shirt that she's, she's a nice, nice person. Um, who works hard um, and 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 you know prides herself on just just being quite gritty and competitive in a, in how she pl how she plays. So um, we, you know it's really nice to see her get that opportunity today and to score. It's you know icing on the cake. So yeah, great for her, great for her family, and great for us. Is that one of the best moments when you you do get to do the shirt presentation? And you know we all, I think we see a lot of time now both in, in Australia over here that that particular moment. Yeah, it's 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 really really proud moment. We also don't big it up too much and make it too big because I think that can be even worse for them. They're already doing something that's so different to anything they usually do. You know, our women's academy don't actually play at the stadium yet. Um, they you know their their game days are much more low key. So for them to come into this environment, it's a big change anyway. So. We don't blow up too much. Um, Matty and Laura actually give her her shirt today. I spoke to her, but Matty and Laura, who have coached her at Academy, I think it's a nice moment for them as well as Grace um, because they work so hard to get players to that point. Um, and it's it's a proud moment for for everyone involved. But yeah, it's um, it's, it's been great for Grace and um, one that I'm sure she'll look back on fondly. Looking ahead to next week, I know you mentioned that you've, <coughs> you've had players going through fitness tests, the couple that you're probably waiting on. Um, have there been a few sort of players that, that might have been on the fringes that have, have pushed themselves more into contention heading next week? Now? I think it's you know difficult looking at, at cup finals because if you've kind of got something that's working, you probably wouldn't really change it. So I think it's you know heavily dependent on fitness tests. Um, and the tough bit is is that like all players that are in our squad and you know uh, are capable and are a big part of what we do. But sometimes you just got to go on form, on combinations. Um, and on on fitness, so yeah, it'll be it'll be it'll be a tough week for you know to having some of them conversations, but that's performance sport, and you know whether we you know whether the contracted full time athletes or not, you're playing in a stadium like Wembley for a club like Leeds Rhinos, so it's performance, whether you know the the other bits come along with it or not. Um, and just finally from me, what does this next week look like now then for for you and the side building to Wembley? Oh, we try not to change it too much. We'll be training Tuesday and Thursday. Um, we'll be setting off Friday morning um, with family, been part of that and, and, and been around us. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, it's exciting. But I think first thing is just only to recover. Um, I'll go sit down and be happy that we've kind of got through with the performance and hopefully no, no major knocks. But, yeah, it's been, um, it's been 
I'm sure every coach with a you know week out from Wembley say it's been it's been a challenging week getting to that point, and we'll just look forward to embracing the week now and embracing everything that comes with going to Wembley. But we want to go win, so we've got a big big job on our hands. And just ask about Izzy. Yeah. Northrop, I mean, five tries for a prop forward. It's not bad, is it? And she, I think she's got a hat trick earlier in the season. Didn't yeah, she? yeah. So, I mean, just how good she been for you so far this year? Izzy's great. She's a great, great player. Um, she's robust, she's athletic, she's dynamic, she can play big minutes. Um, her attack's very, very good. I think she hits hard lines and um, because she's so athletic, I think that where some props might fall off a little bit is where she's really there to go and, and defensively has to, to, to step up this year and, and change some bits in the game and she's, she's been doing that week on week. So yeah, she's been doing great and um, you know, we think she's, she's doing a great job and just want to see more of it. She's not just barging over from, from a few metres out, though, either, is she? She's, I mean, the, I think it was the first try today. It was a lovely effort cut through from about halfway. Yeah, like, and she's got that in her because she's so athletic, and I think that's what we're seeing with the modern-day game, is that those sort of players come, you know, become worth the weight in gold, and, and she is that for us. She's a young player, um, but she's been making a big impact, so, yeah, it's good to see her do it again today. And just checking the people that didn't play today, Caitlin, Grace Field... Um, Zoe, they're all okay, just, just rested. Yeah, they're okay. I think obviously, you know, Caitlin just coming back from, you know, last a pre season of, uh, of an operation and things like that. Grace has, again, you know, she came back from, from an operation mid, mid last year. So I just think it were, you know, kind of making a call on getting the balance of giving some people an opportunity, giving an opportunity for some people to rest when, you know, they've had niggles or have got, you know, things that we might want to just consider a little bit.